Hi, Valerie Milano here at Bottle Rock 2024 in Napa, and I'm so glad to have Jane and Leo here. We got to see your um, performance today at the Truly Stage, so thank you. So this is your first time at Bottle Rock? Yes, first time at Bottle Rock, first time in Napa, and we are loving it. Yeah. Yeah. They said on stage today that they got married here, what? Yeah. Six months ago yes. in December yeah, yeah. in San Francisco. Yeah, in San Francisco, yeah. Where do you, oh, you're Austin, Texas. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. 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 What a great place to live. Were you born in Austin, Texas? I was. I was born and raised in Austin and, uh, yeah. I'm from Detroit, but I lived in San Francisco for 10 years or so. So it's, that's what made San Francisco so special for us, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, you two, you two seem to have found some musical magic in your partnership. How did you pairing together in Jane Leo come about? Um, well, it's kind of small circles in the music community in Austin, and uh, we had the same producer and kind of knew of each other's individual projects for for years, and then kind of finally we're like, we should try to write a song together, and then started dating and everything all at the same time. So why not? Why yeah, not? why not? You know? <laughs> Go all, all in. Make yeah. it all work. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Well, you two seem to have opened some musical doors for each other. Jane, you've said that Daniel has exposed you to finding a side of music you'd never seen or heard before. Can you talk about that? Yeah. Um, he's just kind of like an encyclopedia of music. So, you know, meeting him was really like just a bloom, bloom opened the doors for me like I had never really listened to the yeah, yeah, yeah's or the stooges or people that like just you know I it was more of like a Americana folk kind of pop uh, influences in in rock but he knew a side that I I think I needed to know and um, it's really expanded my me as a vocalist and as a writer and um, it's been really cool to kind of combine our musical backgrounds and form Jane Leo so and um what was the major revelation for you musically? Mm, that's a good question. Um, I think just being able to kind of create a character rather than being like a singer songwriter that's just spilling my personal stories out there, which there's nothing wrong with that. That's a beautiful thing too. But um, in this project, I've sort of been able to, with through him, like and together we've been able to like form sides of ourselves that we didn't even know existed and sort of test our own boundaries and uh, it's given me a lot of freedom as a performer and as a writer um, to step outside of what I knew. Yeah. 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 Um, Daniel, how about you? Jane has said you are writing from a female perspective. How has that evolved for you as Jane Leo has emerged and blossomed in the Austin scene and beyond? Sure, I mean, well, <clears throat> writing from a strictly male perspective for 20 years and then to be able to just flip to that side, it just open the doors wide open to do whatever. So I was able to get, I mean, I'm not singing it, so I can say whatever <laughs> and just say like, go ahead. It's your, yeah, so just put it on Jane's plate to uh, weed through the craziness that I'm just throwing out there. And um, I was, I'm able to get more poetic, able to be more obscure. And then with Jane's voice, we're listening for an anchor and we find it and uh, you know um, the great part again is that we come from totally different places Detroit and Texas are n nothing alike there's nothing that's synonymous of those two things um, Detroit's kind of rough and rowdy and Jane has literally leveled me out in that way and vice versa so it's it's been a great experience and it's working you know <laughs> well how special was it today to be on the same grounds as like what Ed Sheeran, Queens of the Stone Age, Nora Jones and the Offspring, such a very wide range of musical talents. Um, you're going to stick around today. Um, so how special is that is my one question and, and who are you looking forward to see is my other. Oh man, you know we've just been so busy that it's like I hope we see Queens of the Stone Age yeah, and uh, our friends cannons are going to do a little strip down set so we might go catch some of that and really just you know soak in whatever kind of we you know we stumble upon so we're excited you can't go wrong at this festival every yeah. stage has something so just kind of wander and uh you know see what's out there yeah 
And you know, be, doing the job that I do, and going to Coachella and, and different other festivals, I've just noticed that this festival is just so clean. The grounds and, and the, the grass and the fake grass and the, yeah. you know, and the food varieties and the the alcohol varieties is just so amazing. It really I just, is. Isn't it? Yeah, I mean, we, wo- we walked around this morning before everything opened up and I was like, man, this is a festival I would understand going to because, you know, sometimes they're just so big and spread out and overwhelming and this was like, just feels so nestled in this like beautiful area that, you know, everything, the yeah, the trees yeah. and the, it's just, you know, you know, landscape that we're not used to in Texas. So sure. um, it's, it's really, be- it's something else to get to play here. Are you able to stick around in California a bit at all? Uh, a few Wednesday. days, yeah. We're going to here till Wednesday. We're going to stay a couple extra days in San Francisco and, um, yeah, just celebrate an exciting few days. So how can our readers and our viewers find you guys? A website, social media, what? Yeah, uh, website, janeleo.com, but our, you know, our Instagram, TikTok, all those are great to follow for just a day-to-day journey. You can find it. You can find that under Jane Leo Music. Um, yeah, we have a new single out and a new video called um, Diamond Hands. That's on Spotify, all those, all the streaming platforms. Um, so you can find us there and hopefully come see us in person someday. Yay. Well, yeah. I was lucky and Anna Maria was lucky to see you in person. And you got some great dance moves. And I love the way you got us to exercise today on stage. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. We needed to get some stretching going on. Yeah. After three I'm days, just, I'm just looking out for everyone's safety. You know, That's it's a long, it's a long, you know, three days. You gotta stretch it out, get the blood flowing. You know, <laughs> what fun! Thank yeah. you so much for taking the time. We're the Hollywood Times official is our YouTube channel and um, HollywoodTimes.net, and we'll be writing all about you and putting the video on. And just, just thank you again for thank your you. time and your talent. I appreciate it. All nice right, to meet you both. Yeah. great. Thank you. Thank you.